My first answer is don't. Know that I don't do this, I will not do this. How's it going everyone? Mana here. Today we're going to talk about everybody's favorite topic, spamming. Yeah, I get a ton of questions and no matter how much I try to advise you on how to do it better, you still want to know how to get results from emailing people without their permission. So since I can't fight you on it, I will give you some answers. But first, let me tell you what a crazy few weeks I've had. We had over two feet of snow for three weeks straight here in Chicago. I got a leak in my roof and a sink calling from my house and I can't do anything but laugh about it. So we're gonna plug in some funny videos at the end of this, so stay tuned. All right, let's get into the topic of spam. I got a question that said, I want to cold email over 20,000 people a week. How do I do it? All right, so we've talked about this. My first answer is don't. Know that I don't do this, I will not do this, but y'all keep insisting. So we're gonna start a segment called what you should do when you shouldn't do it. All right, so do this at your own peril. You're gonna have to do it in stages. And once again, you're gonna hate me for telling you this, but it's gonna take some time. Because first you need to warm up email addresses. Warming up means creating a reputation. So making email recipients, email servers believe that this is a legitimate email address, not a spammer. We have to remember that they've gotten really good at this. We keep looking for ways to get our emails into people's inboxes without their permission. And the ISPs are also figuring out ways to keep us out of those inboxes. So you're gonna constantly have to get very smart about this. You gotta do the technical setup, so I set up the domain, the ISP, the DMARC, the DKIM, we have a video on that. Um, we can link it here above, and also just look at the channel at Manamikram and you'll find it. And for engagement, you're gonna need darn good content. Okay, so personalize the message, personalize the subject line, make it interesting, be genuine and warm. Warmth is very, very effective. Um, also, it's gonna differentiate you from all those other gimmicky emails that we all get. And find other ways to create that type of engagement so that the email servers believe that you are legit. Now, the trick there is to subscribe to email newsletters. All of those are gonna send you a confirmation that you can click on and so on. I'm gonna write a blog post about this and put the link in the description below because this is a step-by-step -step process, so it'll probably help you to have, have it in front of you and follow it. Until then, enjoy this funny moment. Morning coffee spot. And don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you back here next time.